Hey everybody, Brett Lemley here, director of the Tango Mercurio Community Orchestra in Washington, D.C. We're moving on now to page 19, but before we get started, I wanted to say thank you. I have my very first subscriber to this channel. I'm, I'm rather surprised by that and very gratified by that. Uh, somebody out there, I don't know who you are or where you are, but somebody uh, is finding these videos helpful and that's what I was hoping for. So um, to, the, to my one so far, uh, subscriber out there in the world somewhere. Thank you very much, and I hope these videos are, are helping you out. So let's take a look at page 19 now. The music is getting a tiny bit more complicated. You're always playing the same notes in both hands, so C in the right hand means C in the left hand, and so forth. But the rhythms are getting a little bit faster. Whole notes are becoming half notes and becoming quarter notes, so your fingers are going to have to move a little bit faster, which is why it's important that while you're playing, you pre-position your fingers. Put each finger on the note that you're about to play while you're playing the note that you're playing. So always be fingering one note ahead, and this will help with muscle memory and precision, and you'll learn the notes much, much faster. I'll also put some practice tips and a little blurb, as I have in the previous videos, before the Hands Together section. I really, really encourage you to follow the practice tips. It takes some discipline to practice the way that I practice. However, the way I've been doing it is exactly the way I say in the practice tips, and I promise you that it has helped me um, slowly but steadily get pretty good at this thing in a fairly short amount of time. So follow the practice tips best you can and hold yourself to a high standard when you play, and uh, we'll see you in the exercises. Uh -huh. 